Hi everybody, my name's Will. I'm starting a vlog. I don't know how to start a vlog. It's like kind of terrifying. Uh, this is so hard. My wife and I recently bought 40 acres of property uh, in Oregon. We are both from the city, have like no experience farming, but we've both fallen in love with the school of permaculture and what permaculture can do. We're gonna try to bring a lot of those principles here and see what we can do with this beautiful landscape that we've gotten. This is gonna be a really big undertaking and I'm really wanting to document this process. I've always been really bad at this, but I think this is gonna be really cool. Um, as my wife and I have been kind of doing our research and trying to figure all of this out, what we've really been wanting is to like see people who are starting it from the very beginning. We wanted to see people who'd never done anything before um, because that's who we are in a lot of ways. You know, we figured if that's what we wanted to see and that's who we were, then we might as well start doing this ourselves. And hopefully some of you guys who've been wanting that same thing uh, can get some good benefit out of it. If nobody does that, then, you know, this is, I'm excited to have this as a journal and a log of, of what we've done on this farm and hopefully that should be pretty cool. Today's project, that. There are a couple areas on the site that have been kind of neglected as far as, shall we say, lawn maintenance goes. And that has given us tons of blackberries. I mean, look at all this. Everything kind of creeping up, everything's just slanted because it's all just getting overgrown with these blackberries. So my big project coming up for the next I don't know, however much and whenever I've got time is going to be trying to take these down and clear them and hopefully give you guys a cool before and after. Look at this. This is ridiculous. My tools. The machete. A great blackberry hacking tool. You got the chopping on this side. It's also got a saw on the back, which I've never seen before. It's a good one. And this thing. This tool is a flooring scraper. We got it as a linoleum scraper. It didn't really work for that at all. But I'm hoping this guy with this nice little sharp edge I can kind of stab it into the ground and see if we can bust those guys up a little bit. We'll find out. Tool number three is going to be my mitts. I love these deer skin gloves. I can't speak highly enough of them. When it comes to blackberry picking I don't do it without them. All right here we go. I meant to kick it at it, but not actually hit it. Of all the places that it had to go. Let's try that again. Now where did it go? Got it. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find. Hey, getting a little bit of sunshine. Beautiful! Back to work. like a chunk of rebar or something. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna need two hands for this, guys. Hold on. I had to come back to the house because I'm still figuring out how to get the memory stuff done on this camera. And fortunately, while I was up there, my wonderful wife, Meredith, was, uh, was free enough to come out and play in the snow for a little while. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break on the blackberries and we're gonna sled and play and have some fun. And if there's time, we'll get back and do some more hacking. Play first, work later. <laughs> you can see why I love her. I gotcha. <laughs> hey, you hold on. Ready? <laughs> we can maybe use it to scoop some of this extra and like pile that extra where it's dry. Or we could just go over to the other good sledding hill. That's also true. Let's do that. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this stuff first. What do you think? It's starting to open oh, up wow. a bit in here, huh? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I'll show you. This was not the first the first time I've been down this way, gang. This was uh this over here was an area that needed some work. But I've also done a little bit of work over in here. Which is coming along well as well. Down. Yeah, this is all what I call tromp gardening, where it's just just smashing it to the floor. Is the idea that then we'll mow over this more easily? Short term, this is satisfying to get this stuff down to the ground. Like visually, it's just really nice to have stuff flattened down. I can kind of we can kind of see what's going on better. Yeah. It'll be better for the trees. Yeah. But long term, like I definitely want to get goats. I think that's definitely in our future with this yeah. amount of stuff. And if stuff's down low to the ground, I feel like that's, you know, they can munch that. Can they walk over it though? That's why I'm wondering. I think so. Well, I don't know. Do you guys know? Can you guys, how, how durable are our hooves? All right, we got my stuff. It is time for some sledding before the batteries die. <laughs> time to make the trail first. <laughs> Good start, good start. 